In this video, I'll share five benefits of using server components with Next.js app router. And after this video, you won't only know why to use them, but also when to use them in order to improve your application and developer experience. More often than not, we need to do some kind of data fetching in our application. The traditional way in React has been to download the JavaScript bundle from the server parse it and then render the component. And once the component is rendered, we would fire up an HTTP request fetching the data we need. But this presents a couple of problems. First of all, we have to always wait until the JavaScript is downloaded, parsed and executed before we can get the data we need. Second, the data is fetched from the user's browser, which can be behind a slow connection. So the fetching could take a long time. With server components, we can do the data fetching in the server. And this way, the data is fetched most of the time closer to the data source as opposite for fetching it in the browser. We can also render the data already on the server and then just send the rendered HTML to the browser. This reduces the bundle size the client needs to download in the first place because we can omit the data fetching logic from the bundle since we already have the data fetched and we are just returning the rendered result to the client. Imagine a situation where you have a multilingual website with lots of translations. Translation files can get quite large pretty quick. And traditionally, we would need to download those translation files to the client in order to render the correct translations. This makes the bundle size the client must download before the app works pretty large. With server components, since we are doing the rendering on the server, we can add the correct translations to the components before sending the rendered HTML to the client. This way, the large translation files stay on the server and the client doesn't have to download them. We kind of touched this point already in the last benefit because the same goes for the data fetching logic, which can be omitted from the client bundle. So the client bundle size gets considerably smaller when using server components. Whenever communicating with an API, there most often is API keys or tokens needed. And if we make a request to an API from the client, the user can see the API key used and this might not be something we want. With server components, we can keep the sensitive data and logic on the server without the risk of exposing them to the client. So it all around improves the security of our application. Server components, especially in Next.js, offer different ways to cache data. We won't go into all of the details in this video on how Next.js and server components use caching, because to be honest, that is a topic for a video on its own. And actually, let me know in the comments if that is something that you would like to see a video about. But as said, server components enable us to use wide variety of caching mechanisms in Next.js. For example, results can be cached and reused on subsequent requests and across users. So when one user requests a resource, it can be cached so a totally different user can then reuse that cached data which in turn makes our app faster for the users. As we learned earlier, server components render the component on the server and then return more or less the HTML for the component. This is totally different from the traditional React way where we have downloaded the JavaScript to the client and then handled the rendering work in the browser. But by rendering on the server, the rendered HTML can be used by search engine bots to index our page and social network bots to generate social card previews for our pages. So if we have a site that depends or benefits heavily on SEO, server components will boost its visibility in search engines because they return the HTML instead of plain JavaScript and this way are more easily indexed. Even though the server components are powerful, they aren't the one tool to use for all kind of solution. And we still need client components too. 
but knowing these benefits, we can now make more informed decisions on if and when to use server components. I just started my new newsletter where I share more things about Next.js and also content that I don't talk about anywhere else. Link is down below if you wanna check it out.